So yesterday, we asked on Twitter what Disney World Resort should we go to, and you guys answered, and I think we got a winner. Kingdom Lodge. Beautiful here. Yeah. We're gonna walk around, explore a little, and show you some of the sights and some of the beautiful wonders of this wonderful lodge. I feel like we just didn't give Animal Kingdom enough love lately, and yeah. so I'm glad that this won my Twitter poll I made. And we're gonna see what kind of animals we can see from here too. Well, I think one of the biggest draws of Animal Kingdom Lodge is the fact that you can see animals from your room or there's actual like an open safari on property. And I think that's what draws a lot of people other than it's absolutely gorgeous here. So let's see what kind of animals you can actually see here. Right here is the main lobby. And then of course, all the rooms that are actually facing out into the safari. And right behind you, what a is that? Bontabak! It's a Bontabak! But for real, we don't actually know if that's a Bontabak. But it is Veronica's favorite word to say. I love when they say it on the safari. Bontabak. It is just breathtaking here. It reminds me of Wilderness Lodge Gone Wild. Yeah! Or Wilderness Lodge Gone Animal. Oh, good one. <laughs> wild bees, wild bees Is here. Is that what those are? Bees! No, no, no. Oh, and look at the pretty zebra. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and at night, as you can tell by the little kindles there, you can roast marshmallows because I did find out that they break off those marshmallow sticks and use it to start the fires. We found out that is no Bontabak. That is not a Bontabak, but did you know water bugs get their name for the fact they are frequently found near rivers and lakes? Oh, zebra. Or is it a rowan antelope? It's a Bontabak for sure. No, I think it's a rowan antelope. Wait, what's this look? I don't know. They're Look at that. Rowan antelope. Similar. Water buck. Look at Rowan the horns. antelope. These horns go Water in. buck. These horns go out. It is a rowan antelope. Rowan antelope. Here Knew it, it comes. It's going to the music. And this is just a rowan antelope hanging out with a bunch of pelicans. If you don't see any animals when you first come out of the main lobby to the safari area, there are multiple viewing spots because the safari actually wraps around. So we're going to go back inside and then go to the right the to show you a little bit more. Oh, watch out for the bees. And we are back inside and the AC is pumping. And just take a second to appreciate this lobby. Okay. Wow. Oh, look it. They're setting up for the graduation of the... Cultural representatives. Cultural representatives. That's pretty awesome. I had a lot of good times up there. Oh, yes. Right up there, the top floor. Come back to us, Paul. Nicola, we Nicola, need you back. We need you guys. We have to go VIP. And located left, when you come close to the DVC stand right there, this is another awesome viewing area that we actually like to go to a lot. Hello, ostrich. Yes, up here. How are you? Good, you doing good? Yeah. I'm very glad to hear that. So on this observation deck, you can see <coughs> giraffes and, of course, ostriches. And wildebeest. We didn't even know. It was, we thought that was going to say giraffes. Yeah, wildebeest. <laughs> that was a surprise. And I think giraffes, too. No, it's over here. Oh, rowan antelope. <laughs> oh, yeah, the giraffe is over here. 
But they have these nifty little oh, turnstiles that let you know That's what is out there. That's why when we thought we were turning it, it was going to be giraffe and we were shocked with the wildebeest. Wildebeest. Might as well bring Bok to Bok. Susan, I told you about putting this fence up on my property line. I'd appreciate it if you would take it down around Cohen to HOA. Thank you. Susan! And now we're going to make our way down to the pool area because on the other side of the pool area there's another viewing spot. But on our travels down, Victoria Falls, which is the lounge here, but it's currently closed so we're not going to stop there at the moment. But it's very nice setting. Very nice, I say. And also, something that is slated on our to-do list is definitely eat at Boma. Ever since the day that you got trapped into that one party and got sat down with this table, I've yeah. always wanted to come back. Unfortunately, we've never gone to eat here yet. And uh, it's probably my number one pick of restaurants I want to eat at in Disney World property. One day we'll get there. One day. And just a quick question here. I just said that Boma was probably my number one pick of restaurants I have not eaten yet at Disney World. So if you've eaten at Boma, is it worth my excitement? Let me know in the comments. Please let me know in the comments. We've made it back outside to the pool area. On the other side of the pool, that's where the viewing spot is. I know that there are flamingos over there, but I don't know about anything else. So. We'll have to see ourselves, because we don't know. And this viewing area is one of my favorites, because I'm going to tell you something special that they do here that I think is amazing, that they do this for the guests. Cornhole! No, I'm only kidding. That's not the amazing thing they do for the guests. <laughs> at this lookout area right here, at night, they have night vision goggles that you can actually wear free of charge so you can actually see the animals at night how awesome is that all you do is come meet up here and this is where they distribute them I'm gonna find the exact times though just to let you know and look at that we found wildebeest and giraffes doing their thing just hanging out having a good time wouldn't this be awesome to see at nighttime and night vision? So Alpha right behind us just told us the night vision goggles start at 9 o'clock. By the way, that's an awesome name, man. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Awesome Alpha. And right next to the giraffes, there is a Thompson gazelle. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So on our amazing journey so far, we've seen giraffes, wildebeest, Thompson gazelle, ostriches, uh, water bucks, and bon pelicans. We've seen no bonta bucks. And wild ducks. Woo but the ducks aren't alone because there's a bunch of flamingos there too. Wowee. My grandma, my grandma loves flamingos. Well, she would love this pond full of flamingos. She doesn't actually love flamingos. Wait, what? Yeah. Why would you say that then? We used to take uh, plastic flamingos and stick them in her yard. So when she woke up in the morning, her and my pop-up would come out and be like, who put these plastic flamingos in my yard? And we do it with Christmas decorations too. We'd set them in their yard. <laughs> we discovered something pretty funny. This gate right here leads into the savannah but they have this little lookout right here so when you knock they can like peek their eyes out and be like who's there is that really what that's for? and I am looking through the looking hole and there is a little dog back there I have to say that is a huge pool isn't it it is pretty big yeah I like the pools that you can walk in like that like like Polly has oh yeah where you just walk into the water yeah okay we're heading back inside I love it when we approach these doors and you can just feel the AC hitting us. It is a very hot day out today. Very hot day to be tromping around Animal Kingdom Lodge. Remember earlier when we were talking about they were setting up for the graduations of the cultural representatives? Here they are. All in their purple gowns. Look at that. Aww. So 
cool. And even Scat's here for the celebration. He's watching on. They gain their ears. Now we're going to exit Jumbo House. But before you exit Jumbo House, always remember to please touch me because it gives you good luck and grants you a have a good journey. The reason we're leaving Jumbo House is because we're gonna catch a bus from Jumbo House over to Kidani, which is another part of the resort. I think that's also DVC, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is, I'm not 100%, but a uh, cast member told us that they have a lot of other different animals there that we can check out, so I said, why not? Let's go for a, let's go for a bus ride. Okay. All right, and here is our bus to Kendani, right here. Aww, they got us a limo. I know, it was so sweet of them, huh? There it is, not the limo. I wish the limo, but this is the one. That's this is the, the one, one Mav, the, the Silva Tuna. <laughs> All right, we're here. We're going to the premium outlets. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's nice AC in here. Wait, I used the same joke. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh. Bye, Jumbo. It's a bumpy ride. This and is we have arrived. It's only about, I'd say, like a two minute drive. The walk is pretty bad though, so if you do plan on walking or if they tell you it's just a quick walk, don't do it. Do you also though remember when we walked, it was pouring rain. Oh yeah, maybe. But the bus runs every 10 minutes, so. Every 10 minutes of the hour, actually, I'm sorry. And welcome home. And it's just as beautiful. Amazing in here. A little littler. Yeah, the lobby is not so big. It's very small, quaint, but we're gonna go right out. Let's see what kind of animals we can see. I can tell you already, the animals over here are way closer and way better. Just gotta say that right off the get-go. I can see giraffes and wildebeest as I'm walking down the steps to the observation deck. Wow, this is actually way better. Like there's a zebra probably I'd say about 10 feet from me right here. Oh Actually there's like four zebras. Holy moly! They're like right here. Look at them. Wow. Right here, zebras. Look at that. And you got a nice couple of giraffes over there, a pair of giraffes. Looking very cool. There's some bond to bock. That's not Bandapak, that's in Koli cattle. Those are also on Kilimanjaro safaris. They bring those out often. Okay, oh my lord, I think I see Bandapak. No way. Yep. We are just three zebras hanging out. We doing like zebra to things. Go out in the boat. Oh, yours was better. Yeah, I know. And like I said, if you really want to get up close, I mean, I, I can't really judge Jumbo House because of that current time. Maybe they were like this at Jumbo House during other times, but right now at Kidani Village, this is way better. Way, way better, is it not? Well, the only thing is also you can't control animals. There's yeah, you can. I mean, they're free roam. Want. Yeah, they're free roaming. But I just feel like because this is smaller, it kind of keeps them, you know what I mean, closer to the building. It's also because when they know I'm here as the animal whisperer. Oh, they come they to you. Tend to co yes. I get it. Have you ever seen the Disney promotional videos where people are like hanging out from their balcony and the giraffe is like coming up to their window? 
I think that would be an amazing experience. I don't know if that's actually ever happened. If it has happened to you, please let us know. Let us know in the comments how close the animals have come to your window while you were staying either at Kandani Village or Jumbo House. I, I, I think it's amazing. I think this is our second question for the comment. Oh yeah, so this is the two question comment kind of video. Now we're gonna try to get a better look of some of the animals out on this observation deck by going out here. Wait, this isn't a door. There's the door. You can get a much better look at the coli cattle here and the wildebeest. And I thought that I seen some antelope. Oh yeah, they're over here. I there we go, some antelope right there. Um, I found some bontabak. Those are not bontabak. Right there. Nope. The gray ones. We're not sure what kind of birds these are, but a cast member actually gave us a little tool that can help us out in our hunt a little better. It's the official Animal Kingdom Lodge Wildlife Spotting Guide. Congratulations. And if you just open it up, it actually shows pictures of all the different animals you can see here. So of course the Ancoli cattle, which are right out there, zebra, the wild ass, giraffe, okapi, oh my God, the Red River really hog. Cold. There's actually what? so many different. In Elan, no bontabak I see. They're... There is no bontabak on this list. Yeah, but they're out there. Oh, are they? Yeah. But I think what we are looking at wise, bird-wise, it would definitely have to be... The gray crowned Yep, the crane. gray crowned crane. The gray, gray crown, crown crane. crane. Gray crown crane. Gray crown crane. Oh, but this is very nifty. So if you do come here, make sure you ask for one of these. I, it would probably make things a lot easier. I wish we had this at the beginning. That thing's name is hilarious. It's so pretty inside Kadani Village too. Like I said, a lot smaller than Jumbo House, but that makes things a little bit nicer. More cozy. Yeah. So now we're gonna go back outside because we're gonna walk over to a second savanna that they have here at Kadani Village. And it's actually outside behind the pool, just like at Jumbo House. I think they call it the Bontabok. There are no Bontaboks. We even checked the guide. Now we're making our way over to the pool area and look at that sky. I think a storm is brewing. It's every day it's brewing. Every day at Florida. At Florida. All right. Oh boy, I can hear the lightning and thunder. And the thunderers. And oh, I can already see an animal we haven't seen yet. A zebra butt. And there is an okapi. Fun fact, they are not related to zebras, but are the closest relative to giraffes. Congrats. Yes. Oh, and we can see some work getting done out there. That bird was following her around. What kind of bird is that? Uh, a bontabak. No, it's not a bontabak. Check your guide. It's a northern ground hornbell. Oh, northern ah, ground hornbells. So they're very that's smart, a northern it ground it hornbell. They're like carrots. They're very smart. Very that's smart. That's probably why he was following her around. She knew. She got snacks. She's got the food. She's the food lady. But look at that. Okapi cattle. Okapi, not a cattle. I oh, look. What? Bontabak. There is no Bontabak. <laughs> red River Hog. I know, I do. I want to see the Red River Hog. I don't see them out and about though. They're probably sleeping. Yeah, probably sleeping. Well, the rain has spoiled the journey. So we had to cut through the parking garage and get back up to the main lobby of Kidani. But look at. Yeah! We're going to take Rafiki out. Fun fact no one cares about my favorite movie is Be Lion King. Oh! By popular demand, everyone told us we need to try the zebra cakes. Zebra domes. Zebra domes. And we actually did because the Humphreys family actually met up with us and stopped and bought us an actual serving of them. And they have it at the quick service. I didn't even know. Yep. yep. So How we're cool is that? The zebra dome. So we're gonna try them. All right. All right. Zebra dome. We're gonna cheers the zebra, zebra dome. domes. Oh, mine's falling apart. Cheers the zebra domes. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty good. Oh my lord. <laughs> hi Maggie. Say hi. Maggie. Oh. oh, oh. Say hi. 
She sees you. All right, guys, so that's the end of the night or the end of the day, and uh, we're out of here. So, we had a lot uh, of fun. So, uh, I guess all of the streamers will finish it up for us because we are live streaming now. And if you are watching the stream, make sure you watch the vlog. And everyone's saying, Love the life you live. How awesome is that? Aww. Okay, and next. Everybody say, live the life you love, starting now. Yep, live the life you love. And it's starting to rain. Wow, awesome guys. Yeah, I'm loving this. Oh, that is amazing. Oh. This is gonna be our wow. best ending ever. I love it. <laughs>